Let's first say that. You shouldn't feel guilty for anything. So he said, man, that's tax evasion. You can go to prison. Mm -hmm. Let's start with a shocking thought. Steve Harvey, the man millions know and love from daytime TV and comedy, might be hiding a dark side that no one ever saw coming. While he's known for his witty jokes, motivational speeches, and family-friendly persona, what if beneath that polished exterior, he was involved in something far more sinister? The rumors surrounding his connection to Diddy's world of secret parties have exploded, and they've left everyone questioning, who is Steve Harvey really? Diddy sued, Diddy is now being sued in addition to what we just talked about by Dawn Richards. You guys will remember her. She was a part of Making the Bin. Dirty Money. Di uh, Dirty Money, mm -hmm. the Danny D. Kane era. So yep. basically what, she is a legend. She's a legend, a lot of different things too. In recent months, the whispers have grown louder. The FBI's investigation into Sean Diddy Combs and his long rumored illegal activities has taken a dark and unexpected turn. Steve Harvey's name is now being dragged into the mess. The evidence linking him to these controversial parties is said to be shocking, and it's left the once respected media mogul on the brink of a personal and professional collapse. How did Harvey go from being the face of family values and mainstream entertainment to potentially being entangled in one of the most notorious celebrity scandals in recent history? Well, let's dig into what we know so far. And Stacey, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact, Jake, that the government in, in this indictment presented evidence alleging that Sean Cones was running a criminal enterprise. It all started with Diddy's downfall. The music and business tycoon, known for his flash, parties, and extravagant lifestyle, has been under investigation for a while. His so-called secret parties, which have been whispered about for decades, are finally under the spotlight. These were more than just gatherings of the rich and famous. If the reports are to be believed, they were a place where the dark side of celebrity life came out to play. And now, as the FBI digs deeper into Diddy's empire, there are rumors that Steve Harvey was a frequent guest at these infamous gatherings. But let's back up a bit. What exactly are these parties? And a lot of the evidence, alleged evidence, that's been gathered in this case was from those two raids that were conducted on his personal homes in Miami and Los Angeles. And the indictment names the, um, the, the things seized that, they, that he allegedly made videos of these performances as, mm -hmm. that have been named freak offs for years insiders have whispered about diddy's extravagant get-togethers events cloaked in secrecy where only the elite of hollywood and the music industry were invited these were no ordinary parties celebrities were allegedly forced to sign confidentiality agreements ensuring that whatever went on inside the walls of diddy's estates would never see the light of day it's been said that hidden cameras were placed in every room capturing all the scandalous activities that occurred during these events. And now, with the FBI's recent raids on Diddy's properties, rumors are swirling that evidence of what happened at these parties has been uncovered. Diddy has been under criminal investigation for months by federal prosecutors here in New York. And if there are criminal charges, many of them may look a lot like what some of these individuals have been describing. This is where things get really interesting. Some of this footage allegedly features none other than Steve Harvey himself. Could it be that the Family Feud host and self-help guru had a secret life that was as wild and chaotic as the parties he attended? It's a chilling thought, but one that's gaining traction as more details come to light. It's been reported that Harvey, along with other celebrities, was a regular at these parties, parties that are now tied to some of the most disturbing allegations in the entertainment industry. Now, so what is next? Uh, is he going to be in jail in this in this facility until the trial begins? Is there a chance he could, you know, get sh get moved earlier than that? As of this moment, as of this hour, as of today, yes. But of course, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to be appealing this thing um, next to the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to overturn the judge's order here to try and get him actually released. Um, now, before you dismiss this as just another celebrity scandal, consider this. Steve Harvey has long been connected to Diddy's social circles. They've been seen together at major events, and there have always been whispers about their friendship. But what if it was more than just a casual association? What if Harvey's clean-cut image was just a cover for something much darker? This isn't the first time Diddy's friends have been caught up in controversy. Remember when Suga Knight accused Diddy of being an FBI informant and hinted at his involvement in criminal activity? At the time, those allegations were brushed aside, seen as just part of a long-running feud. But now, with the FBI reportedly investigating Diddy and those around him, the connections between these powerful men are starting to look a lot more suspicious. These are all allegations that have become shockingly familiar against Diddy in recent months as he has faced lawsuit after lawsuit from women and men who have accused him uh, of, of all manner 
of, of bad behavior. The question is, how deeply was Steve Harvey involved in this world? According to sources close to the investigation, the FBI has obtained footage and documents linking Harvey to Diddy's parties. While nothing has been officially confirmed, rumors are circulating that this evidence places Harvey at the heart of some seriously scandalous situations, and the fallout has been immediate. Since these rumors began to spread, Harvey's life has reportedly spiraled out of control. Sources say that he's abandoned his business empire, refusing to take meetings, canceling public appearances, and retreating into isolation. Those close to him describe a man on the edge, overwhelmed by the weight of the allegations and terrified of what might come next. It's said that Harvey has taken to drinking heavily and has cut off almost all communication with the outside world. Could this be a sign that the comedian and television host knows his time is up? So yeah, Marjorie, I guess she did what she felt as though she had to do. I think she sold her soul to the devil. Mm. There have been increasingly disturbing rumors that Steve Harvey, overwhelmed by the weight of the allegations and the collapse of his personal life, recently tried to harm himself in a moment of desperation. Sources close to Harvey claim that his friends are deeply concerned about his mental state, describing him as a man on the brink, consumed by fear and guilt. It's said that his usual circle of supporters has distanced themselves, leaving him feeling more isolated than ever. As Harvey sinks deeper into despair, his friends are reportedly urging him to seek help before it's too late, fearing that he might not survive the emotional toll of this scandal. I don't care. All the king horses and all the king men cannot stop me from putting this book out. Harvey's downfall hasn't been limited to his professional life either. His family, once the cornerstone of his public image, appears to be falling apart. According to insiders, Harvey's wife, Marjorie, has left him amid the growing scandal, reportedly running off with a bodyguard. Meanwhile, his children are said to be quietly selling off their properties, bracing for the financial and legal storm that's headed their way. The once close-knit Harvey family now seems to be scattering, each member trying to protect themselves from the fallout of Steve's implosion. Are you serious? Yeah. So you are, this, I love my man, but what you mean, but? For someone who built a career on positivity and family values, this is a dramatic and tragic turn of events. Fans are left wondering how much Harvey's public persona was real and how much was a carefully crafted facade designed to hide his involvement in a world of excess and debauchery. And it's not just the public who's questioning his character. Industry insiders, many of whom have worked with Harvey for years, are now speaking out about his behind-the-scenes behavior. Some are saying that the warning signs were there all along, but no one wanted to believe that the king of daytime TV could have such a dark side. Stop. Stop ignoring the red flags in your relationship and thinking you can change a man. Take, for example, the rumors that have resurfaced about Harvey's early career. Before he was a household name, there were whispers in the entertainment industry that he wasn't as squeaky clean as he appeared. Some of his former colleagues have hinted that Harvey was always ambitious, sometimes willing to do whatever it took to climb the ranks of Hollywood. But no one expected this. No one thought that Harvey's rise to fame might be tainted by associations with people like Diddy, who is now facing some of the most serious allegations imaginable. Problems that are the defense has brought up originally, but it seems like, just from reading this 14-page indictment, that there is enough physical evidence to perhaps get a conviction in this case. We well shall see these are allegations. The timing of these revelations is also worth noting. It was only a few years ago that Harvey was writing high, hosting shows, publishing books, and giving motivational speeches about success and faith. He even released a book about relationships and faith, cementing his image as a man of integrity. But now, as the investigation into Diddy's activities deepens, that image is crumbling. Some have started to question whether Harvey's rise to fame was built on shaky ground and whether his connections to powerful people in the entertainment industry, people like Diddy, helped shield him from scrutiny for years. This distribution of cocaine, they dropped the money laundering aspect. Because, I mean, they had me dead to write on money laundering, but they didn't even want to deal with it. It wasn't no use of, you know, taking me to trial. They would have to take me to trial for the money laundering. Of course, none of this is confirmed. The investigation is ongoing, and Harvey has yet to be officially charged with any wrongdoing. But the rumors are hard to ignore, especially as more and more people come forward with their stories. According to some reports, the FBI is particularly interested in a series of events that took place at Diddy's properties over the past decade. These events, which were attended by numerous high-profile celebrities, are said to have involved all sorts of questionable behavior. And if Harvey was there, as some sources claim, it could be a devastating blow to his already tarnished reputation. Now, if the government is going to mandate that they are responsible for your well-being, they have to ensure the safety of your well-being. What's even more disturbing are the allegations that hidden cameras were used to capture what went on at these parties, if this is true. And if the FBI has obtained footage of these events, it's possible that Harvey's entire world could come crashing down 
Imagine the implications. Years of maintaining a pristine public image, only to have it all destroyed by a few damning videos. The thought alone is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine, and it's no wonder Harvey is reportedly in complete despair. It's like haters. When you get haters, you know, people's opinion of you is none of your business. I have lots of haters. It's not just the potential legal consequences that are weighing on Harvey, though. The personal toll has been immense. Sources close to the Harvey family say that Marjorie's departure has been particularly hard on Steve. Their marriage, which once seemed rock solid, has now unraveled in the face of these mounting allegations. Marjorie, who has faced her own share of controversy over the years due to her past relationships, has reportedly had enough and is distancing herself from the scandal. Rumor has it she's already moved on and her decision to leave Steve has left him devastated. With this newest lawsuit, this would probably only expedite or increase the amount of allegations and potential witnesses who could testify against Sean Cohn. Meanwhile, Harvey's children are doing whatever they can to protect themselves. Insiders say that they've been quietly selling off properties and other assets, preparing for the possibility that Steve could face legal action in the near future. It's a far cry from the happy family that Harvey often portrayed in the media. And it's a reminder that when one person's life falls apart, the ripple effects can be felt by everyone around them. At this point, it's hard to see how Steve Harvey can recover from this. Even if the FBI doesn't bring charges against him, the damage to his reputation has been done. His fans, many of whom looked up to him as a role model, are now left wondering how much of what they saw was real. And as more details continue to emerge, it seems unlikely that Harvey will be able to reclaim his former status as one of Hollywood's most beloved figures. So I just, I just keep going through. And, but then I'll tell you something too. Haters motivate me. Because when they talking about me, that means I'm doing something. So what's next for Steve Harvey? Will he manage to clear his name and salvage what's left of his career? Or is this the end of the road for the once unstoppable entertainer? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear, Harvey's world has changed forever and the fallout from these allegations will be felt for years to come. Let's dive deeper into the web of chaos surrounding Steve Harvey. But this time, let's talk about something that's been hiding in plain sight all along, his wife, Marjorie, and her past. As if Steve's own downward spiral wasn't enough, the rumors about his wife's connections to a criminal world are bubbling back up to the surface. The kind of past that most people wouldn't be able to leave behind no matter how polished their present day life appears. But somehow, the Harveys have managed to keep this dark chapter relatively quiet, at least until now. So let's dig into what this all really means for Steve and why it's not just his connection to Diddy that has people talking, but the baggage that Marjorie has brought into the picture as well. Oh, I'm, I'm telling all, I'm, I'm, you know, a lot of people, because everything has been going across the internet is untrue, you know, about. Uh, we all know the image Steve Harvey has projected over the years. He's the quintessential rags to riches success story, a man who pulled himself up from homelessness to become one of the most recognized faces on television. And Marjorie, well, she's often been presented as the sophisticated, supportive wife standing by his side through thick and thin. But here's the kicker. Not everything about their relationship is as glamorous as it looks on the surface. Long before Marjorie was Mrs. Steve Harvey, she was linked to two high-profile figures who were known not for their glitz and glamour, but for their involvement in serious criminal enterprises. The names Jim Townsend and Donald Woods might not be familiar to everyone, but in certain circles, these names carry weight. Weight that now threatens to pull Steve Harvey down even further as his personal life crumbles. You, know, you gotta understand, she's not gonna be speaking on none of that because her whole thing is to hide her past. Let's start with Jim Townsend, Marjorie's first husband. Townsend was no ordinary figure. He was convicted for being heavily involved in illegal activities, and his indictment included serious charges that would have had anyone shaking in their boots. He wasn't just some low-level criminal either. He was allegedly the mastermind behind a large operation. Townsend's activities caught the attention of federal agents, leading to his conviction in a life sentence. But here's where things get really interesting. Marjorie herself was reportedly involved, or at least that's what the rumors claim. Townsend, who was sentenced to life in prison, has always maintained that Marjorie was well aware of his actions. In fact, he claims that the authorities had enough evidence to indict her as well, but Townsend made a deal to keep her out of prison. Imagine that, a life sentence hanging over his head, and yet he supposedly took the fall to protect her. That's loyalty on a whole different level, right? Marjorie, however, wasted no time moving on with her life once Townsend was locked up, less than five years into a sentence. She filed for divorce and distanced herself from the scandal. But just when it seemed like she was free and clear, Marjorie found herself entangled with yet another figure from the underworld, Donald Woods. Woods, too, was known for his involvement in illegal activities. And he wasn't just any player, he was connected to one of the biggest criminal organizations in the country. It's hard to ignore the pattern here, right? Two husbands, both with serious criminal ties. And now, Marjorie's third husband, Steve Harvey, is facing his own nightmare as his life crumbles under the weight of scandal. So I don't, I don't give them no energy. I give haters no energy. 
Steve ain't this. He think he this. You don't even know me. Let's take a step back and ask the question everyone's thinking. How did Marjorie manage to stay so squeaky clean while being surrounded by all of this? And more importantly, could her past associations have played a role in Steve's meteoric rise to fame? While there's no hard evidence that Marjorie's past directly boosted Steve's career, the timing of it all is too coincidental to ignore. Steve's rise to fame happened around the same time Marjorie entered his life. And while he was climbing the ladder of success, she had just cut ties with her previous life, a life that, if Townsend's claims are to be believed, could have destroyed her. Jim Townsend, after serving over two decades in prison, was granted a pardon and released in 2017. And wouldn't you know it, he wrote a tell-all book while behind bars. That book details his life with Marjorie, and according to Townsend, she wasn't the innocent bystander that she's tried to portray herself as. His memoir, which is filled with shocking claims, adds fuel to the fire that Marjorie had deeper involvement in his criminal activities than anyone realized. Townsend reportedly felt betrayed by Marjorie after their divorce and has been more than willing to share his side of the story. Whether or not these claims are true, the timing of the book's release, coming right as Steve Harvey's life began to unravel, couldn't be worse for the Harvey's life began to unravel, couldn't be worse for the Harvey's. Stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man. But most importantly, I happen to be a man of faith. This isn't the first time people have questioned Steve's success. There have always been whispers in the industry that Steve wasn't exactly the self-made man he portrayed himself to be. His relentless drive and ambition are undeniable. But what if Marjorie's connections helped him make those crucial early moves? After all, it's not uncommon for people with shady pasts to leverage their contacts to get ahead. And given Marjorie's history, it's not outside the realm of possibility that she had access to influential figures who could have played a role in Steve's ascent. These are the kinds of questions that people are now starting to ask. And for Steve, they couldn't come at a worse time. Pointed me a lawyer to help me with it. So during that time, Morgan asked her friend, Lone Holt, to help him. J Jared Lone Holt, that was his name. Now, let's not forget that Marjorie has long been a socialite, frequently seen rubbing shoulders with some of the biggest names in entertainment. Her close ties to people in the industry, including Diddy, have long raised eyebrows. Could it be that her connections to these power players, combined with Steve's talent, created the perfect storm for his rise to stardom? While there's no way to know for sure, the rumors are swirling and they're not going away anytime soon. What's even more unsettling is how Steve Harvey's once tight circle of friends has started to fracture. It's been reported that many of Harvey's close associates have distanced themselves from him as these rumors about Marjorie and his own potential involvement in Diddy's world gain traction. For years, people in Hollywood have whispered about the dark side of celebrity culture, where the lines between success and scandal blur. And now it seems like Harvey is being pulled into that murky world, whether he likes it or not. I've had clients describe NBC as hell, as the worst conditions they've been in. But it's not just Marjorie's past or her connections to questionable figures that's damaging Steve. There's also the fact that she has been reportedly linked to several extramarital affairs, the most recent involving a bodyguard. This alleged betrayal couldn't come at a worse time, as Steve is already teetering on the edge of ruin. The rumors that Marjorie has left Steve to be with this bodyguard have been making the rounds, and if true, it paints a devastating picture of a man who has lost everything, his career, his reputation, and now his marriage. Don had the choice to file the case as a Jane Doe, and she chose not to do that. After giving it a fair amount of thought, she wants accountability, she wants justice. So where does this leave Steve? With Marjorie's alleged abandonment, his children selling off properties and his businesses crumbling, it's clear that Harvey is no longer the untouchable figure he once was. He's now a man facing potential legal action, public humiliation, and personal betrayal. It's a dramatic fall from grace for someone who, just a few years ago, seemed to have it all. Let's talk about those kids for a second. Steve's children, who have always been a part of his public persona, are now reportedly distancing themselves as well. It's been said that they've been quietly selling off assets, preparing for the worst as the FBI investigation into Diddy and possibly Steve intensifies. While the Harveys have always projected an image of a tight-knit family, these recent developments suggest that behind the scenes, things are far from harmonious. In fact, it looks like the family is falling apart and everyone is scrambling to protect themselves before the walls come crashing down. The money that they're saying Diddy has to start paying this guy on October 1st, right. Diddy's team is like, hold on, uh-uh. We need an emergency conversation about why this sh should not have been granted. Mm -hmm. And they awarded him a TRO, uh, which basically meant that Diddy's team was not allowed to sell any property in that state or anything related to what could be used to pay the plaintiff. So how did things get so bad for Steve Harvey? Was it just bad luck? Or were there signs all along that his world was built on a shaky foundation? Looking back, it seems like there were warning signs that people chose to ignore. Whether it was Marjorie's questionable past or Steve's close ties to figures like Diddy, the pieces were all there. But no one wanted to believe that the man who brought us countless laughs and moments of inspiration could be caught up in such a scandalous world. 
Now though, it's becoming harder and harder to ignore the truth. One of the most damning pieces of information is the claim that Steve was not just an attendee at Diddy's secret parties, but was actively involved in what went on behind closed doors. These parties, which have long been shrouded in mystery and controversy, are said to have been wild, unpredictable, and, according to some sources, even dangerous. For Steve to have been involved in these events and to have his name tied to the kinds of activities that allegedly took place would be a devastating blow to his already crumbling reputation. There has been some updates in uh, the Diddy, the Diddy um, $100 million default judgment that we reported on earlier this week. Let's not forget that Diddy himself has been under intense scrutiny for his role in these secret gatherings. The FBI's investigation into Diddy has already uncovered some shocking details, and with each passing details, and with each passing day, more and more names are being dragged into the mix. If Steve is indeed one of the figures being looked at, it would explain why he's been so quiet recently, why he's withdrawn from the public eye, why his business ventures have stalled, and why his business ventures have stalled, and why his once bubbly personality has all but disappeared. And here's where things get even more intense. Sources close to the investigation have hinted that there might be incriminating evidence linking Steve to some of the most controversial aspects of Diddy's world. While it's not yet clear what that evidence might be, the fact that these rumors are swirling suggests that Steve's involvement goes deeper than anyone could have imagined. If this evidence were to come to light, it could spell the end of Steve Harvey's career as we know it. It's a tragic turn of events for a man who was once seen as a beacon of success and positivity. But as the saying goes, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. Steve Harvey's fall from grace has been swift and brutal, and it's not over yet. As the FBI continues its investigation and more details emerge, it's clear that we've only just scratched the surface of this scandal. What lies beneath could be even more shocking. With Marjorie out of the picture, his family distancing themselves and his friends no longer standing by his side, Steve Harvey is left to face the consequences of his actions alone. It's a stark contrast to the man we once knew, the man who preached about family values, hard work, and perseverance. Now, those same values seem to have deserted him, leaving him in a world of chaos, scandal, and uncertainty. So what do you think? Could Steve Harvey really have been hiding this much behind the scenes, or is he just another victim of Hollywood's rumor mill? And do you believe Marjorie's past played a role in Steve's rise to fame, or is it all just a coincidence? Let us know what you think in the comments below. See you next time 